Good day, welcome to Multinet Design in Revit 2024 in our project of budge arrangement filler that we this starts on. So in this particular episode, we want to create the upper floor. So in the last episode, we were able to create this particular ante room, living room, dining, stair hall, maid room, and kitchen. So we are proceeding to the upper floor where we are going to be creating a, conf a room, convenient room for where the madam is going to stay and some other aspect of the room that need to be so and we do some super adjustment to this one. So let's start. So click on the wall. So when you set the wall then you start. So here you pick it up from the established grid. Okay, and then you pull it up to a certain assistance level. So we're done with there. So what we do is that this particular floor has a little bit cantilever. So you use offsets and take it off like 500 cantilever without copy. So it push it out a bit. Good. So this is what we do here. Only one side of cantilever we probably set to the whole case. So now what we do now we start the process. So the process of what we do here is that the first aspect is that this place is going to have a back one. So you sign this by extending it here. So create the inner part. So I'm going to get this to this level. Good. So we move. So this stabilize for the madam. So at this point where this tier all stays, so we are going to have a family. So this is going to be certain as a family lounge. So we are dividing this place again to guest bedroom. So we're going to start from the middle and pick it up. So these traces of the lower part we are seeing are just the it's something that okay <coughs> you can just adjust and if you don't want to see them again you have it underlay so you just come to underlay here and what we do click on none and this will disappear leaving you with the original from her and someone once asked me that okay how do I get this black tick line this black tick line that I have that I'm using to draw because it's when you're sewing double line like the way the underlays are sewing like this underlying the double line so you want to know this so just press Fiji on your keyboard or you come to view and click on what on visibility graphics here yeah? so from here you change the objects you can click you can change the object from here and change it this one is going to only be showing for the graphics of the holy page you are working on but if you want it to be unifier unify in all the projects so this is where you come from so you click on here come to the default wall. select this default wall. so from the default wall, you change whatsoever you want to change so here is the default what i'm using so this is where i change it cut pattern this is the solid feed so if i change it back now from solid feed from here now and i go back and say none so look look at it i click on none I click on none, click on none. So, what happened? So, come back again. Visibility graph is sorry. So, I'll just die. I go back on the wall, I click on defaults. So, on the cut pattern, I select this. So, I select this particular color. Hmm. Yeah, this is called pattern. So I collect, select this, and I say click on none, apply. So apply to this cut pattern again. So everything here is set to none. So click OK, apply it, click OK, and click OK. Can you see? So everything will be disappearing. So the first thing you need to do is go back there and select it. So control set. So that is how you work on that. That will come to the normal double line so let's continue with the process of our project so now we have done with this uh, particular 
building expression so what we do here is that we click this then we have this tier incomplete way so what we do the next thing we're willing to focus on our attention is that how do we have all these things in use so this is the madam's room which is big of this level this is a balcony so and this is the another room for the guests and so on and so forth so we want to work on those things and get them accurate and perfect so you create this center of a this one will serve as a remaining lobby or just like deleting it. It may not necessary because when the staircase comes, the staircase is going to land around somewhere like this. So you still have something to manipulate in this area. So what you do is you click here and say, let's create the toilet. and bath for that. So you have your toilet and bath at this level. You do the same thing here as well. Internet and but so what does the unit to do to focus your attention this is going to take the place for the whole region of the area so this one is serve is going to serve as a closet at the same time serve as what serve as a the two man toilet for the madam to express tensor so this is the big room that we are talking about so we have this in place now so next thing we need to do is to put all our does in the place so you can imagine why i am not focusing on the window the kind the system of this window is more different from the further part of the system window that we used to do so we're going to get there and do something fantastic so the opening here now you are going to be here so click here so you do this one by opening this so say break so extend this extend this one then extend it again good so you click here and say give the opening here give the opening here so do the same thing by giving the opening and giving the opening here <laughs> so think we are able to do with the upper floor with the everything that's needed so you click and open it at that point too. So what we do is just load here, bring some little bit of template into place. So click here and say all your template file like bed, queen size bed, you bring it here and deposit it here somewhere here like this. So put it somewhere there. Let it be synonymous that this is bedroom. So you do the same thing here as well. You give it to so let it be known as bedroom. Let it be known as bedroom. So as we already is saying, some of you do, you just need have this template and it, okay, you want it. I've said it before. Or what you just need is to click join on our YouTube channel, join the join the membership of this. Then you have access to it because it's the opportunity that YouTube has given. So some of you, you can use super thanks to like. So and send the thanks. So I'm going to link you up and you will get the template file completely on the area that you are needed, that everything is needed to be function for your design. So that is the opportunity. And if you are not part of the subscribing subscribing channel uh, member of this place, you can subscribe to our channel and you get notification on everything you want to do. So as I have done with this one now, let us go and quickly create a staircase before we come up and come and do the necessary thing that, need, that is needed again. So go to level one. From here now, we quickly want to create the initial stair so that this staircase will be having a robust act action. So click on stair and the stair, click on this grid sketch. So from this sketch here, you design your pattern of sketch you want by yourself. You, I'm using the boundary first. Let me for for create boundary. So whatsoever that happened here, I'm just going to do the editing by changing the whole proper information. So now we have this. So just click on riser. So the riser from here to, to here we do 
So mirror this again. So let it be from the middle. So you select that a boundary. And you pick it up from here. And pick it up from here. So you pick it up from here. Again. So now you do riser. So the riser you are going to do here is just the offset. Then you begin to offset it by it. I'm using 300 foot, foot part. Okay. So sorry. So I need to do copy. So it's going to be faster, quicker, and better. So we do the same thing here too. So, so we have it in place. So let me count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So riser, it riser is probably okay. You adjust it a bit. So what you do here is that you align this. So you align this one, then you click the parts to which your riser flows to. So you click parts here. So from this part, move here, come to this place move here like this and come back here so you can finish and see what you've done with your riser with your step so the next thing you do is that you click you change the so i'm going to change this one i'm not going to use it to select i can click finish let's see how far it goes so you select the finishing it's done so you can change it to magnetic staircase or whatever you feel like okay it's going to be okay for you. So you change the mobility clear case and you have it in that way. So what else do we need to do from the kitchen? You can just go to mid room. So kitchen mid just have access to kitchen to do whatever you want to do and that's all. So that is how you flow in this particular design. So you go back to the level two and go and see what you've done. This is where the landing starts this the whole thing steps into and um, which is not perfectly accurate according to what we are designing so what we do is that we adjust this let it flip to this so if I need any issue that we need to govern it through so we select it from this is the down coming to hop so you can decide to change this here now so from down climb from here so come to this place so at this top you're not going to have this problem on this side because the floor is going to cover it so what i mean by this is that you click here and say floor architecture so you create that immediately cover it top with the rectangular so what we do here is that you extend this one extend this because of the cantilever moment so you click finish here then you do, do, do the needful here so if you look at this side that i'm creating look at this one the main picture so this is it so this one is you push push out so that's how you're going to do and that's how you're going to have the feeling of this at that point so that's why i'm putting it out so just like selecting it and say 600 will be okay yes so we have this at that point so what we do here is that we create the pattern the open for so this is this one is done so you leave it at that done so this place is coming off from here good so the staircase covering up the whole space so you're just going to select it like this You can click it at the opening side and click it to give you the complete open. So I'm going to do that by selecting this and select that. And I will do finishing. So when you look at it from here, the whole, so the level two, and we have the, the whole systems in this place. So what I do, is that I select this, put it up. So what is the issue? 
The issue is that this is still case start from here, supposed to start from here. Okay, yes, go back here and go and see. Yeah, so the still case start from here. This is done coming to the up. I mean, this is okay going down from here. This is coming down from here. So that is how it flow. So the floor has been indicated. So get underlay and remove the underlay. Say no. Good. So the remaining aspects you can just adjust them. Click here and say select. So go to to the sectional sofa. Choose it. So whatsoever you need again in the area of uh, other annotating pattern. So you just select and put them to indicate that okay, this is what is happening here. So if you have a little bit of confusion about this, how these loops are, you can check. So the temporary dimension for you that are following to follow the pattern of, of work. So you just get it here. So that is the temporary dimension. So we want to do later go to do the detailing of everything and we're going to see the beauty of the whole design so if you are if you want to continue to flow with the work we are doing this is how you go about it and get it done so this is the temporary dimension the, the temporary dimension to follow so and we have this one as a process so let me quickly do the annotation so that you'll be able to know what um, what and what area that we have already created so from here now we call this one Reset. So this space is more than room. So this place is family large. Then this one it should be toilet for the mother. So we get, give this one to guests. Guest bedroom. Then this one is just a another bedroom. So beautiful. So we're done with this at this level. So how what you just need to do is to follow us step by step on how we create this so, uh, position. So in the next class, we are going to con continue with the whole process and get it done to a certain level that the confusion is not going to be. So we are going to get this final to the normal level that everybody will love. So, thanks for watching.